Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this makeup look right here. It is perfect for Diwali or any other Indian occasion. Um, before jumping into the video, I just want to take a moment to wish all of you out there a very, very happy Diwali and I hope all of you have a great year ahead. And now to jump into the video, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the eyes first, but I did prep my face using this Tarte Brighter Days Highlighting Moisturizer just to let it sink in while I'm working on the eyes. I also added the NARS Soft Matte Concealer onto the lids and set it with a little of RCMA No Color Powder, and that is where we are at. Um, so the palette I'm going to be working off today is the Dosa Colors Baked Browns palette. This is what it looks like. It's just a really good matte, warm tone palette. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a crease brush. This one is from Sephora. And I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm going to take that color and apply it into the crease. So starting at the outer corner right here and then bringing it in. As you can see, I'm going to keep my eyes open and go above the crease. This is simply because I have um, hooded eyes and if I don't do this, then all that crease work just gets hidden. So to deepen up the crease a little bit more, I am going to dip into this middle shade with a more tapered brush and I'm going to put that exactly where that other one was. I'm just pointing my brush downwards so it goes more into the crease instead of above it like we did the last color. And it's just the same movements again, so just go all the way in, all the way out. Next I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this color right here which is like a really beautiful reddish brown. You can see I'm really packing that on to my brush. I'm going to take that color and I'm going to apply it lightly into the outer corner right here. Same brush, same color. And that's going to go on the outer corner where your outer V would be. So you could see I'm kind of shaping out that outer V and then shading it in and blending it. Did you guys hear me? My mouth was over. <laughs> my hand was over my mouth that whole time. But I'm just taking it and sketching out that outer V and then blending it inwards. So now I'm going to go in with that first crease brush and the crease color that we used. And I'm just going to lightly go around all that just to make sure everything is nice and blended. So now I'm going to take the brush that comes in the Dose of Colors palette and I'm going to go into this bone color. And I'm going to use that to clean up the crease. I'm so excited for this part. I'm going to go into the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection. Look at that packaging. This is what it looks like in the inside. I'm sure you guys have seen it around. And they say the best way to use these is with your fingers. So I'm going to dip into this bronze shade right here. On my finger. And I'm going to put that right into the middle and use your finger to kind of blend it out. Next I'm going to take a pencil like brush. It's a little bit fatter though and I'm going to go into this darkest shade right here at the end and I'm going to pat that right in this outer corner. So just pat it in to kind of deepen up the outer V and give it a little bit more depth. So I want to brighten up the look a little bit more, so I'm going to dip my finger in some water and I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to pat that right 
in the center of my eye. So I actually ended up taking that color across the whole lid just because I wasn't loving how it was looking and this is not the easiest thing to work with just because you do have to use your fingers. So, well you don't have to but that's how they say to use it so it's a little bit hard to, you know, get even an even spread across the lid. I'm gonna go into this guy again and that pencil brush. And I'm gonna go into this dark shade. And I'm just taking that on the outer edge here again. The same thing we did last time, just to deepen out this outer V. And Next, I'm gonna take a coal pencil. This one is by Bobbi Brown. Use any black coal pencil that you have. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna line my top lash line kind of halfway taking it all the way out and it's okay if it's not perfectly neat because we're gonna smudge it out so the cool thing about this one is that it has a smudger on the other end so I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna smudge out what we just did pulling it outwards like this so I also took this champagne color and put it in the inner corners using it wet again. So I'm going to work on the face for a bit and then I'll come back to finish the eyes. For primer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. I usually use about two and a half pumps and I concentrate it more in the T-zone area and then spread. For foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I This is probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations along with the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I really like that one too. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers ever. So I'm taking that down the nose, on the forehead area, right here. And again, I'm going to blend all that out with Z Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm going to take that black coal pencil again, and I am going to line the waterline. So to smudge that color out a little bit, the black liner I mean, I'm going to just mix these two guys. I'm gonna get that really really close to the lash line to blend out that black so it doesn't look as harsh. And I'm gonna take that pencil brush again and go into this color which was our transition color and I'm gonna use that to blend out the bottom lash line and make it even more hazy. For mascara today, I'm going to use the All May One Coat. I shut that so tightly every single time. All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. For bronzer, I'm going to use MAC Give Me Sun. And I'm using a smaller brush than I normally do, just so I can get it a little bit more precise and concentrated. So I take that up to the temple down and then upwards to blend it. Sorry you guys, somebody's vacuuming in the hall if you hear that. I'm going to do the slightest bit of contouring with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I like taking these two shades and contour really lightly. I'm keeping it very, very close to my ear because I feel like it looks a lot more natural that way. So for blush today, I'm going to go into my MAC palette and I'm going to use just a couple of like a variety of nudes. I pro on camera, they all probably look the exact same, but they're a little bit different. So I'm just going to mix the ones in this top three row. I'm going to apply that. You guys, I am so excited for this next product. It is the Desi and Katie Highlight in Fuego. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to apply a crap ton of this because I just feel like with Indian looks, highlight looks so beautiful. 
So I'm going to take my Anastasia A23, tap off the excess, and apply this to the cheekbones. Holy crap, that is so pretty. I always have a problem with highlight showing up on me, but this one is actually, oh my god, this one is actually showing up really, really nicely. So I went ahead and added some jewelry and some bangles and this MAC lipstick in D for Danger. And yeah, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so I could see all of you guys in the next one. And also a very, very happy Diwali to all of you out there. Bye guys.